pair for the night. On the from the Czech Republic, Czech Republic Katarina Berenkova and Otto, Otto Labola. Well, Czech Republic have had good pairs every now and then. They've, uh, and this is a new pair for the Czech Republic. Skating to the music from Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. And dressed appropriately. double axle but yet she put the hand down. That is the classic hand to hand loop position. spins but unison's right there spin to finish their quest at Olympics. Two students from the Czech Republic, Katarina Barankova and Otto Dlabola, who train with Ivan Rezek. They've been on the national team for just 12 months. And uh, she's into aerobics, likes aerobics and a bit of swimming. Again, this is a new team. And the interest now will be their placement because, of course, this is going to affect Danielle and Stephen, who are currently in 14th place. And uh, I really think that probably Stephen and Danielle had a good argument for uh, 10th or 11th, or oh, probably 11th place just after Sergeant and Wirtz, but the starting order probably didn't help. Here's this spiral sequence um, from the Czech couple. And this is obviously their strength. Traditional positions, which I always think is wonderful to see in pair skating. I don't think you always have to be different. and the pair combination spin. All the pairs are very inventive with these spins now and, and that makes for good viewing. I think the other thing too, while we've watched the 20 best in the world tonight, we've got to consider the pressure that's that's been on them all, whether that pressure comes from coaches, it comes from families, the judges, the crowds. Their own associations. You know, and, and the amount of money that's involved in the sport nowadays, it's quite incredible. Well, it is a multi, multi-million dollar business, uh, particularly in the US and uh, the results in Olympic Games can mean financial security for the rest of your life. So at that point, uh, you sort of wonder just how much 
the love of the sport takes over when you're in an event like this, and you know how much is at stake. Must be something that Tara Lipinski and Michelle Kwan are asking themselves now running into this event. Yes, Tara Lipinski finishing exams or studying for exams before leaving America and coming to Japan. Trying to put that behind her and concentrate on uh, this major, major battle that has been built up by the American media like nothing else. Yes, well, both her Connors and Michelle... Connors v McEnroe, they say. Ali v Frazier, they say. And now it's Kwan v Lipinski. I mean, maybe they're just going a smidgen over the top. Well, I think probably the weight is a little bit different. <laughs> is the, uh, yes, this has affected the placing of uh, Danielle and Stephen. That drops them back into fifth, 15th. Uh, Berenkova and Labola are in 14th place after those scores. Well, I think that Stephen and Danielle can overcome probably two or three teams above them. And uh, this is, quite frankly, not a result that I would agree with. I think that they're... Uh, their style is nice at this team and I quite like what they're doing and I think that that's showing but I don't think the difficulty and, and the maturity and the choreography is there and that will come out in the free program I have no doubt about that so there it is so that's the final group out tonight and it's worth just going through all results because it is set up for what should be a fantastic free program and uh, I know you're looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's just been a fantastic opening it's been something new for me and it's been really enjoyable Belinda well I think